Some great news. I, I, I believe it's great news. I know others will say, oh, you don't see it. I'm looking at it through spiritual eyes. This is great news because everyone says, oh, the last thing that Israel needs is a general election. I agree that a general election is expensive and, and stressful and et cetera. Et cetera. I, I agree with all that. But please listen, after 33 years of working in Israel, doing humanitarian aid, and, uh, and I am not a politician, okay? I am not, and I'm not trying to take sides in it, but I am what I guess you would call me a Zionist, okay? And basically all is a, a Zionist is, is really one who believes in the protection of the Jewish state and, and the protection of, of the Jews in the Jewish state. And, and I'm, that's my heart. That's been my heart, not just because they're my people and I'm Jewish, but it's because I'm born again. And when I was born again, I made a commitment in 1991, my very first trip to Israel, that I would be a voice for Israel. And I believe I, I, I am not like a party person, even though you know that I'm friends with a lot of people that are in one party, but I'm really for the Jewish state and I'm really for the protection of the Jewish people. I am not anti-Arab. I have Arabs that actually work for me in our organization and, and we work with Druze and Bedouins and different ones in, in our olive tree ministry. But I want you to hear this is that this, I want to hear, listen, you can get the news over which party and what's happening, but I want to give you the prophetic view inside the news that is so important. This is the prophetic view. You, you have, um, you basically have Edith Silman, this, uh, this beautiful lady in the Knesset. And, and basically I know they were, and she's being pressured by this group and that, <coughs> but the pressure is coming to preserve the Zionism of the right wing party. The current administration is very right wing and, and it's very diverse and they've accomplished the diversity, but they have at the expense of many. And I agree that there's not enough Zionist protection for the Jewish people. And this issue is about Jewish identity because the straw that broke the camel's back for, for this MK, this minister in the Knesset, uh, uh, Selman, what, what's happened with her is she said, listen, we cannot have the hospitals in Israel not being kosher during the eight days of Passover. And basically there was another MK that said, listen, we're, we're giving the religious community too much uh, power and, and we do not want to be checking bags. So, so let's say you're going to the hospital to visit during the day, eight days of Passover, and they'll check the bags of what your food products you're bringing in to the hospital for the person in your family that's in the hospital. And they wanna make sure that, that you're not bringing in cakes and bread that have leaven in it. And they all, it, this, is, this is all about, are we going to have a kosher identity during Passover or not? And listen, this is this is so prophetic because what is matzah? What matzah is? Matzah is a piece of bread that is without leaven, meaning that it is symbolic of no sin. There's no pride in it to cause it to rise. It is striped as it's cooked and it's pierced. So what that what this really is happening here is saying, listen, we only want the bread, so to say, and she's not saying this, but I'm saying it prophetically. It's like well, she only wants the bread of what of Yeshua coming into these hospitals. And for me, it's all about this. Listen, I've written a book about reclaiming our forgotten heritage, and it's in Hebrew, and 25,000 copies now are in Israel. But and 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 blessed to have it in the National Library, this book. Uh, that we've written, but it's about identity. And, and that's what she's battling for. She says, enough is enough. So what Edith is saying, she says, enough is enough. We can't, if we start giving away these small little degrees of culture, and then the next thing you know, we wake up and, and we're not a Jewish nation anymore. And that's the pressure right now because the current administration that's there wants to be like all the other nations of the earth. And they're wanting to ask permission to be able to protect themselves from the United States. They're, want, they're wanting President Biden to say, we need your permission to be able to, to protect ourselves against this and that and the other thing. 
And, and uh, you know, Israel just can't afford to do that. Israel has to be Zionistic. They have to protect the nation, the land, and the Jewish people, and the Jewish people's rights. Listen, there's been a huge price paid over 70 plus years for it, and it's prophetic. And I think it's interesting that now the government is probably going to go into a general election. We don't know that, but it's definitely stumbling over what? Whether or not it's going to have kosher bread, <laughs> whether it's going to have matzah in the hospitals or not. I think it's tremendous. But one of the other things I wanted to share with you is, listen, we have been so actively involved, you and I, Kurt Landry Ministries, and I want to share this video with you that shows what you have done because you're our heroes. And, you know, we have been blessing the Ukrainian people in Ukraine with food and meals. And now we're taking care of refugees in Israel and we're getting ready to do an expansion because of your generosity. You have to understand taking care of the Ukrainians and that are coming as refugees into Israel. That's really where we are going to focus a lot of our attention. We've got, we're taking care of them from listen, infant babies, many young children. There's, there's things, there's opportunities. They are asking the foreign minister's office, has, has asked us to help. We are helping, you're helping, and you're doing it in a big way. And it's going to get even bigger because this need obviously is not going away quickly. But I know that when the Lord says, doing it unto the least of these, and we're take care, taking care of babies and children in Israel, these Ukrainian refugee children that are Jewish, I think this is right at the heart of God. I want to show you this video. Please share this too because this is so powerful. Thank you for helping us. Thank you, because you're our heroes. Watch this. Russian missiles blast the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. <laughs> the Russian invasion on Ukraine has caused over 4 million residents, among them over a million children, to leave behind the only home they've ever known and seek refuge in neighboring countries in chaos. Over 18,000 Ukrainian refugees have been fortunate to have made their way to the Holy Land. Many of the Ukrainian refugees that have settled in Israel have already been given housing. Now far away from this conflict is one organization, Kurt Landry Ministries, that has done a great deal of effort to bring smiles and new hopes to these refugees who will now call Israel their home. Oksana, a lawyer from Irpin, fled to the Polish border with her children once her town went up in flames. She says she has no idea what is left of her home, but hopes to build a new life here in Israel. Kurt Landry Ministries, a congregation based in Oklahoma, has been generously sending out humanitarian help to the families here. We are going to the homes of the Ukrainian refugees and we are delivering each family the fresh product. They are not expecting to receive such a great gift. We have another big bag full of groceries and of course the fresh product. Nobody delivers fresh product. We are the only ones. Hi, how are you? The happiness on the faces of the refugees is without say. We drove and met Kineret. It took her and her four children 16 hours to cross into the Moldavian border, then into Romania by foot, pregnant. Now in Jerusalem, she has no plans on going back. Hannah, though, after fleeing her hometown of Kiev, is finding adjusting to new life in Israel not as simple. 
що змогли, документи, дитячі речі, іграшки, і сіли в автобус і поїхали. Важко. Поки що важко, що буде краще. Дуже дякую організації «Куртланд» за допомогу, яка вона на нашій великій родині. Дякуємо благодійній організації «Куртландія» за те, що вони допомогли нам. На даний час це великий внесок в наш сімейний бюджет, оскільки ми потерпаємо від усього, чого можливо. Дякую вам. Дякую, Дякую що допомагаєте. Велике дякую організації Курт Ландрі за ці подарунки, за ці продукти. Вони дуже нам допоможуть. Дякую, удачі всім. Бой, це тачить наш серце. And they're asking us for some other special projects to do with the Ukrainian refugees in Israel. And we're saying yes. And in May, I will bring what we're going to do because I know you'll want to do it because it involves children. But thank you so much. Thank you for giving. Thank you for your generosity that allowed us just to say yes and we're still saying yes. And if you would like to help, go to kurtlandry.com forward slash Ukraine. kurtlandry.com forward slash Ukraine. And if this has touched you, because we're giving you the evidence, we said yes, we didn't fundraise. We just came from Kurt Landry Ministry Partners. And we went in our benevolence fund and in our own pockets. And we said, we're not going to say no. We're going to say yes. And I'm so blessed that we did. And I'm so blessed right before this Passover season that we can say yes. And I want you to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Yes, this what's going on with the government's going to be difficult, but there needs to be a reset. There needs to be a reset in the United States of America. There needs to be a reset in what's happening all over the world in every country that's watching in the nine time zones that watch this and share it. Father God, in the name of Yeshua, We pray for the peace of Jerusalem and all of Israel. And we thank you, Lord, as we sow these seeds. And your word says, as you do it unto the least of these, my brethren, you do it unto me. I was hungry and you fed me. I was naked and you clothed me. And as we provide the food and, and the necessities, thank you, Lord, for blessing all Kurt Landry ministry partners and donors. Thank you, Lord, for blessing them in this Passover season abundantly. Thank you, Lord, for the nine blessings of Passover. And thank you, Lord, that, and we want to encourage you to, to join us at Passover. And what I want you to do is I want you to get a free Passover guide. Go ahead and go to kurtlandry.com forward slash Passover guide. No space, just Passover guide. kurtlandry.com Passover guide. Download a free, your free Passover and then join us. Come home. This is the postcard we sent out. But I personally, I want to invite you. Time to come home. So join us on April the 15th, okay? April 15th at 7 o'clock Central Time. And be a part of our Passover, where we can proclaim the blood of the Lamb, Yeshua the Messiah. Enjoy the four cups of deliverance and release the nine blessings of Passover as we do what the Lord says, that he prepares a table for us in the midst of our enemies. Thank you for joining us. Please hit the share button. God bless you for your generosity and your giving. You're making a difference. And I will bless those who bless Israel. May you be blessed. Shalom.